Residents of a motel in Muncie plagued by fire hazards, code violations, and safety risks have all found new places to live tonight as the city investigates the conditions there. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara explains what's next for them and the owner. A month ago, the dozens of rooms at Muncie Inn were full of people and families living here full time. Now it's completely empty by order of the city while its future hangs in the balance. Those who used to call it home weren't surprised when the building was deemed unsafe to occupy last month. And you got to deal with roaches, bed bugs, mice, mold. It's bad. It's bad for the neighborhood. Still, it was a place that a lot of people relied on, but inspections found various electrical issues throughout the building, insufficient smoke alarms, and 13 units without heating. There are families that struggle, and it's, that's the only place they had. Mayor Dan Ridenauer says the owner is reviewing his options due to appear before the unsafe building hearing authority on March 14th. Some people hope to see it closed for good. The hotel needs to be torn down because it's not worth living in. The mayor told us last month the decision to condemn the building wasn't made until city officials made sure there was enough space across all shelter providers and nonprofits in the area for those who would be displaced. He also said he recognized there was a lack of affordable housing options in Muncie when he took office and has been working to fix that. The former Muncie Inn residents we spoke to are grateful for the city's support. I praise the city. They helped people getting out of that nasty. They've done a whole lot better compared to they got better plays, better living condition than what they did at Muncie Inn. But some are still concerned the ordeal may not be over just yet. They got put in, you know, emergency housing, and that's good. But what's going to happen next time? What's going to happen next time? We called the office number for Muncie Inn, and the man who picked up said the owner wasn't available to talk to us, but they have no comment. Reporting in Muncie, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.